Okay guys, so I'm back and we're going to be finishing up our tiger drawing today. Um, so let's begin. So, um, I made a couple of edit edits in between the videos. I made this hair a little bit longer, expanded the ear a little bit, made this more curved, and made this eye a little higher. All things that you could do on your own. But just want to let you know about them so now let's move on to making the body so we have this line from when we first started our tiger and that will be the top of the body so i think we're just gonna go in for the stripes first and that will help us get the shading and tone down so you want to get A dark so this one goes off the page and continues down here Now, let's continue adding the stripes. We're not actually going to make too many stripes on, on him, and they're not going to go too far. Well, there's going to be a couple big ones, but for the most part, they're going to be pretty short. You can make the stripes any way you want. I'm just following just kind of a little pattern. You just don't want um, to get in the way of like the water or anything like that. Big one. Um, we could go this one right here. Uh, that's one in the middle there. Okay. So this is the main one that curves its body. It gives it that three D. Depth. And then, so actually, I made this one a little bit. Okay, here we have our stripes, and then we just need to do. Or a couple more, just kind of getting that body over here. So we have the stripes of our tiger. Now we, we're going to get all the shading and color down. It's not going to be a lot because once we have the shading, we just need to add little strokes of fur. But to get the shading, you want to keep on going over the stripes because when you shade from them it takes away from their darkness and moves it somewhere else so that's how you get it darker or lighter if it could only go so much so there's going to be white over here it's really only the teensiest bit orange 
right there and then it kind of goes down here like that Okay, so it really... gets down here and like the water kind of goes right across there and right up to there Alright, we're getting pretty close to finishing the shading. Um, we just want to make it kind of darker white over here, so getting lighter towards the middle. So here we go, we have, um... The body, actually, I think, I know we did our body first, but I think I'm going to make it the easiest bit shorter. It looks a little bit too long. I'm actually going to go up there. Or start. So the water's deep, and you kind of see that from the leg right over here, as this goes up, and then we'll have that one. Okay, now it's just a little shorter, it looks a little more realistic. So we could do a little bit more shading, uh, well you can if you want, but I'm going to start adding the texture. You want to do teeny teeny lines to show the lots and lots of fur. Um, so we want to go from here at first. So the strokes going that way, like from the head at first. And then we want to ease our way into them going down. So let's start over here. You want to make them light on the white texture, or on the whiter color, and then kind of, you want to make them noticeable on the darker textures. But as it starts, There we go. So, it's starting to get the fur texture down. So, I'm going to um, pause the video here and do the rest of the fur because it takes a little while and then I'll go back and I'll go back. This is still going to, it's still going to be part two, but let, let's just finish the fur up quickly. 
All right. Uh, all of the fur is shaded in. See, it looks like it is more furry now. Um, I'm sure the camera can't really pick it up, but you can. Let me zoom in. You can see there are like a thousands of little furs there. It took me a little while to fill them in, but now we are going to finish our drawing up. So we're going to add, oh, and I also made the little wet furs at the bottom, kind of darker and more curly. So now we are going to add, there's a little bit of shading here that I forgot to add before. Anyway, we're going to add the water. So we want to start by getting... The water line, uh, the water line, it goes across here. There's going to be things breaking the water line, like grass and stuff, but it goes across there. So, since he's stepping in, we can move, we can make the water kind of flowing a little bit away from him. And we could do that by going this way. First, I think we should shade in the entire. Like, then we're going to add some reflections. of give me one second I'm gonna get another pencil so it's easier to color in and shade Never mind, I could not find that pencil, but this one would work fine. So, we are going to shade this lake in as much as we can. And we want to kind of... Shade it in. Okay, so now let's kind of, oh, it's, I'd say I'll get the pencil later and shade it in a little bit more, but I'll show you how to do the water lines. So, I actually just want to, okay, it's easier with it too, so. I'm going a little bit fast because I already know I extended the video, um, but we're going to kind of add some highlights over here of it going this way and this way. Um, but we don't want the highlights to just be all highlights and white, so we're going to add some water strokes in a teeny bit later. We can make a little kind of reflection type thing coming from him. Anyway, so now, just a teeny bit of water strokes. If this was a little bit more shaded, it would stand out more. Uh, you know, you can't really see it too well, especially when I do those lines on it. But it just shows that the water's flowing away from him, and that's what we really want. 
So now, now I'm gonna I'm first gonna make this a little bit more flat. I'm sorry, I really rushed this like you guys could take a lot more time on it, make sure it looks good. But the background is going to be kind of blurred, so we can add some grass over here. Again, I want to speed this up a little bit. I don't want it to take forever, so I am not going to um not going to go in full detail with all the grass strokes, but you guys will just adding adding a bunch of little strokes, kind of some some bending and going in the water. Really, it could be anything you want. Let me just turn it towards me so this could go a little bit faster. Anyway, it's a greenery kind of around him with the grass. And then we could just add some kind of blurred bushes or trees or even this could be sky if you just want it to be grass. But I'm going to do bushes first around the grass. I think if you're watching this video and then doing the drawing, you want to do the bushes first and then the grass. So you would go the bushes around and then the grass. But, again, it doesn't look a lot of detail. Maybe you could draw some super long grass sticking up behind it. And a bunch of bushes. Again, this is at the side of the lake. So maybe there's tall grass, tall bushes. Who knows really what there is. So I focused on the grass up front a lot more than the bushes. You could either blur the grass up front or blur the bushes a little bit. Or focus the bushes a little bit more so here we are done with our tiger drawing this was the first one on our animal playlist so we're going to be adding more soon. Comment what animal or anything you would like us to make or draw below. Be sure to like and subscribe and click on the video that is coming up right there. And subscribe to our channel right there. Or, I'm sorry. There. So, have a great day. Hope your drawing turned out great. See you in the next video.